Hi everyone, I am Alberto Villagran and I'm glad to present this work, a comparison of respiratory motion estimation methods in cardiac PETMR images. Physiological heart motion during cardiac image acquisition degrades the image quality. For example, in the respiratory cycle, the heart could move longer than 10 mm between the phases, affecting the quantification of the parameters and blurring the structures. This might lead to a misvaluation of the cardiac morphology and function and a misinterpretation of no viable myocardial areas. This is why motion correction is necessary in cardiac PET image processing. So the first step in motion correction is to track the position of the heart during the respiratory cycle and long the acquisition. To do this, current approaches use external devices on the abdomen, such as belt or bellow, PET data-driven methods with FDG tracer, we call PDD, or in the context of PET-MR system, dedicated MR seekers such as image-based navigation or INAV that track the position of the diaphragm or the myocardium directly, as it was proposed in a recent study. Then, the aim of this work is to quantitatively compare the motion correction on cardiac PET images based on INAV in myocardium, bed device, and PDD techniques. So, in this study, we work with PETMR data of 11 patients scanned for a viability assessment exam. 10 minutes of FDG PET DISMOD data acquired in simultaneous with the INAV sequence were respiratory gated using the three signals obtained from the INAV sequence, the BELL and the PET data. For the INAV data, the position of the apex was tracked using a window correlation algorithm along all of the frames. The PET data-driven method was performed tracking the foothead component of the center of mass of the sinograms that were reconstructed each one second. Later, we split the signals into three to five phases with equal number of counts each and then gated the least more data to obtain PET sinograms for each phase. Here, you can see a general scheme used for PET reconstruction and respiratory motion correction. For the cardiac MR modality, together with the INAV sequence, it was acquired. The donation correction map, or new map, and a novel sequence for coronary angiography that was also used for estimation of respiratory motion model, represented as a motion vector fields. So, once we have the gated sinograms for the each signal, we perform the PET reconstruction with two mu maps. The original one acquired in breath hole and the respiratory motion corrected. The outputs of the reconstruction are gated bed images for each signal and for each mu map in five respiratory phases. Then these gated images were transformed to the ex expiration phase, obtaining the MOCO or motion corrected bed images. At last, we compare these correct images with the clinical standard one that is not gating and use the original new map. Result. So far, we have analyzed 9 of the 11 patients. Here you can see the PET images from those where the motion correction had low impact on the left and high impact on the right. Some of the regions enhanced by the methods are highlighted with the arrows. To quantitatively assess the correction, we draw profiles in head, foot, and left, right direction, and then fit the Gaussian function on each wall in order to get the full width at half maximum value as a upper myocardial thickness. At the end, we use the percentage difference between this, this full width of each respiratory method and the reference. So, first, we found that there was not a statistical significant difference between the thickness obtained with corrected and uncorrected mu maps in all of the methods. Second, looking across the methods, we saw that with INAV and PDD, the apparent thickness was thinner than the reference, while 
embed the value didn't improve, presenting a significant difference with the other methods. Here we compare between the direction of the profile. There were greater effects in head foot direction as it was expected, since the main component of the respiratory motions is in that direction, showing that showing the capability of the methods. Last but not least, we differentiate the correction in base of the number of gates it used in each patient as a metric of motion amplitude. Here we can see that the improvement is greater with longer respiratory cycles, up to 15% with 5 gates, but almost negligible with 3 gates for all of the methods. As a conclusion, we would like to highlight that Respiratory motion correction didn't show improvement in subject with three gates. Is motion correction needed in this case? Similar results for motion corrected and uncorrected mu map were found. Respiratory motion correction based on MR was similar to FDG pen data driven method. Bell signal the current the current clinical standard method showed the worst performance. Further analysis are encouraged to evaluate its use as a respiratory motion tracking. Then we would like to increase the number of subjects and profiles and make a comparison of PE signals with different time resolution, 1 second versus 215 milliseconds. Thanks for your attention.